Welcome back everyone, Randy here from Beard Booze with another episode. Today I wanted to talk about beard itch, irritation, and those beard flakes. I'm not talking about the itch that comes with first growing your beard, the hairs are sharp from shaving, and it's poking your skin causing that itch. I'm talking about an established beard where the skin underneath gets irritated. A lot of guys lose their beard from this, and I'd like to prevent that. So there's two major things I've noticed that cause itch and irritation. The first one being dryness. So when guys come to me, they say, Randy, my beard is itching. It's killing me. I don't want to shave it. What can I do? My first reaction is I ask them, how often are you washing your beard? It's key. If you're washing it too often, it's really drying out the skin underneath. You want to start with one or two days a week and adjust from there based on your lifestyle and how your beard feels. So I know your first reaction is, my beard itches, I need to wash it, I should wash it, it's probably dirty. So you keep washing and washing it and drying it out further and further and you don't wanna do that. So try to resist, try to start with one to two days a week and adjust from there. So you also wanna find out what kind of shampoo are you using? You know, when I first started, I didn't know any better. I would use Alberto VO5, 99 cents from the dollar store. It's the worst thing you can do for your beard. They contain all kinds of chemical surfactants that really strip the oils from the hair and the skin. You know, they're great at cutting grease and getting rid of the grime, but you don't want that in your beard and the skin. You don't want to strip all that. It's a necessity for hydrating the skin and the hair. So next you wanna make sure you have a good quality beard oil, nothing containing silicone or any kind of cone ingredients, all natural oils, olive oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, those types of oils. So a lot of guys will get in this vicious cycle of using a cheap wash where it strips all the oils from the skin and the hair and then they're gonna use a conditioner, um, a beard lotion or a butter, or all these different products. You really should only need a quality beard wash Quality beard wash will leave your beard feeling hydrated and feeling nice. And then a quality beard oil. That's all you should need in your arsenal as far as keeping it clean and hydrated. Now, bomb's another story if you're wanting to shape it and everything. So, don't get caught in that vicious cycle. And then the second thing would be dampness under, your, under the hair on the skin, whether it's drool or sweat or just water sitting under there causing almost like a diaper rash type irritation. Be very careful with that. Let it air dry underneath there. You know, try not to drool and then lay on it and let it get trapped under there causing that irritation. If you're going to work out and sweat, go for a run. Make sure you rinse that sweat out and don't let it get trapped underneath. Those are the two major causes that I've noticed through my experience that cause these beard itching and beard flakes. So be careful. Again, good wash, not too often good beard oil, and don't let the moisture get trapped under there. If you have any other questions, this should help minimize the beard itch and beard flakes. But again, if you can think of anything else, message us, social media, comments. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Until next time, we'll see you later.